Welcome back, everybody, to Santa Cruz's hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. It's and you do need to know. <laughs> it's Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John for everything you need I, to know to be in the know, because this is the Gazette Radio Digest version of the Santa Cruz yeah. something like that. I don't something know. Like it's, 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 we're, we're a lot of out. things, but I do like the fact that you do need to know. Now, Doug, there's something I need to know. Uh, as a publisher, yes, okay. um, a, a fine Santa Cruz Gazette and Free Classified, fine publication, award-winning publication. Uh, I gave it an award. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Glad somebody did. You can did. call yourself an award-winning as of I right can't now. even get on the most 51 influential. That's yeah, no, we're not going though. there. Um, well, I, I, I didn't was, get on the 121. Anyway, I, but never mind. I would have made fun of the list if you were on it, so don't feel bad. Um, but here's the question I have for you. Are you going to come out with an election you edition? You know, sometimes I feel insecure. Only sometimes. Sometimes things don't go my way. Anyway. Doug, get out of the corner. Stop sucking <laughs> your thumb. And stand up here like a man. Eeyore's, no, here's, Eeyore's my favorite one. I'm here's my question poop. for you. Are you coming out with an election issue? Are you going to come um, out with an endorsement? I'm thinking, yeah, next week I think I'm going to do some endorsements like I did with okay. the city council. You want to break them here? But you know what the problem is? I'm not on fire for these things. That's what's... But well, yeah, right, I'll talk about let's it. Let's talk yeah. about it. Okay. Sure. Um, uh, it, it seems like there's two big things mm-hmm. that, that are on, uh, people are going to go to the polls for. There's the midterm elections nationwide, which are fascinating to me, but I think... Locally, we've got the congressional race, which is Republican. Right. So you're going to vote for the Republican or the Republican? Republican. Oh, there you go. Good. Doug, I can, we can break that now. Doug Sutton, editor of the Gazette Free Classifieds, voting Republican in the congressional race. But for the record, I hate this system. No, I no, no. hate that two Republicans are running against each other. I really I, do. That's kind of silly. All right, so we have, we have <laughs> I'm going to say Steve Strickland. No, it's <laughs> Tony, Tony Strickland and Steve Knight. And your endorsement is, we need drum rolls. We so need sound effects, right? <laughs> My endorsement is Steve Knight. Steve Knight. Okay, yeah. now the next question, logical. Why? I don't know. No. Yeah, I flipped the coin. <laughs> heads. It's two Republicans. Um, I don't, with Steve Knight, I just get more, he's been more specific to me on the points, on the stuff that um, that really matters to me. And, and But the thing is, I... Strickland is too, but Steve gets a little more detailed. He just seems a little more, I don't, it's hard for me to put it into words, a little more sincere. Um, Tony, to me, is trying to be more emotional. He's trying to grab people's emotions. One thing I don't like with Tony's um, campaign slogan is, if you don't pass a budget, you don't get paid. What he's saying is he wants a law to pass. I believe that's what he's saying, that if the Congress doesn't pass a budget, they don't get a salary. They don't get a paycheck. Right. Does he yeah, have any chance and you know what of getting that passed? Yes, I'm going he's, to vote down my paycheck. Yeah. No, so what he's doing, he's trying. He's throwing that out as an emotional grab for people to go, oh, yeah, that sounds good to me. I'm going to vote for him. Is he? Is he? Can I put words to that? Is he too much of a politician for you? Yes. Is, is that is yes. that what you're trying to say? Yes. Okay. And there's some issues, too, I'm going to be honest. And, you know, there's still the thing, where does he live? That seems just a little not underhanded to me, but just not on the right track. Um, yeah, he doesn't live in the district. He says he's going to move, and he hasn't. There's also some allegations of, um, of years ago, some campaign funds that were used in the wrong way that shouldn't have been used for that. And um, yeah. I've also heard some things he didn't, when he was in the state Senate, he didn't author very many bills himself, where Steve Knight offered a lot, and um, I just I guess the main thing has been the debates where Steve has just seemed to me more grounded, down to earth, more wanting to help the folks than Tony does. Interesting. Okay, I, I look forward to reading that. Um, the 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 next issue that everybody is really upset about in Santa Clara, especially. No, don't say it. I, we, we have to. This is is. is Will you is, make me a promise? No. <laughs> is Measure S <laughs> the billboards? The billboards. All billboard radio. <laughs> Billboard radio. I'm thinking about voting yes, just so we don't have to talk about it anymore. That's, that's there is, it, it's it's almost like, do you remember the movie Brewster's Millions, where Richard Pryor was running for, yeah. <laughs> for mayor, yeah. and it was like, he couldn't win the job. Right, so right. Some space. So instead of, there were two guys running, and his campaign was none of the above. Right, right. And that's kind of how I feel about the whole billboard thing. But what, what what's the, what's your, going to be your official I'm going to vote uh, No. For okay. a couple of reasons. I think the city could get a better deal. And, John, I just got to be real honest with you. Something just doesn't smell right about this deal that was ramrodded through by the city. And I respect the guys. I respect and like Bob Keller a lot. I just don't see why they're just so gung-ho about it. And, it, again, it gets back to emotion. It seems like the Measure S folks are, folks are just saying, hey, we got to do this. It's great. It's great. Come on. It's good. Let's do it. we got to do it. I think 
Tim Ben Boyston lays out a lot of good facts as to what's wrong with it, why we need to consider this, and maybe back up and start over. Yeah. For one thing, is the city is not guaranteed a dime. They're, it's right, well, isn't? It? Aren't they? Yeah, they get but, money if there's profit. What if there's? But but no profit? are they going to get? I mean, it, it, for me, one of the things that I that struck me is is maybe this is the best deal they can get. Okay, and if this it, is and it's you know bird in hand, two in the bush type thing, and, and it's hard and, to argue that. And and I'm sitting there going, well, yeah. you know. It, are they going to get profit? Are they going to get money? Yeah. If there is no profit, who's going to pay that money? Really? Come on, you're a businessman. It's not yeah. going to happen. If there's, if nobody's making money, nobody's making I, money. I guess the rub for me is why they didn't negotiate with the two big companies. I think that would have jumped all over it, Clear Channel and CBS. Would they like to bid on having digital billboards? I agree. And could we've gotten a better deal where you're guaranteed money instead of just pie in the sky? I agree. But if if I came to you with a deal, and you said, "Oh, that's a pretty good deal." Yeah. No, do, that, you, do you go to my competitors and negotiate yeah. around me? I mean, you know, that's stuff to say. There's, yeah. there's, there's a call or bluff. I don't know. You're right. Yeah. You know, I line. guess the bottom line is I was talking about fire in my belly about this thing. I'm the type of guy that billboards never bothered me. Right. And if they go away, I'm fine. If they don't, I don't, you know. I did notice, I forgot where I was. I saw a boatload of digital billboards. Like, and I was like, I was driving out to uh, Las Vegas. To, to Las Vegas. Well, I was driving to Riverside to pick up my daughter, and I had, there's a whole boatload yeah. of them out there. I'm like, Cool. Yeah. Well, big deal. They have them in Phoenix, you yeah, know, where I lived for deal. many years, and they're, they're fine. All right, well, but anyway. Well, okay, there you go, folks. You can pick up your your copy of the Gazette uh, election Well, that edition. means I got to write about it now? Well, yeah. You, okay. People, not everybody listens to the radio. Okay. <laughs> there are people who can't listen. No, the people who can't read. Oh, the who ones, listen. ones who at work can't that's working right now? Yeah, they might be at work. There you go. Podcast. Okay, that doesn't work either. All right, you're listening to the Gazette Radio Hour with Duck and John on AM 1220 KHTS, Santa Cruz Hometown Station. We shall be back with sports. Here we are, everybody. We're back on the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John, the Radio Digest version of Santa Cruz Gazette and Free Classifieds and Santa Cruz's Hopetown Station, AM 1220 KHDS. It's the football segment of the show, so we need to get going. Yes. With what? <laughs> <laughs> with football. Uh, we're, we're not, are we talking pros? We're talking yeah, we're, let's do high school real quick. Ke- uh, what's your name? Kyle. What do we Kyle. have? Kyle, yeah, Kyle. Kyle. Station yeah. managers here. <laughs> Uh, what game we have today? I've been called. We got Canyon versus Saugus on AM twelve twenty KHS seven fifteen pregame. Seven thirty is your kickoff. And your prediction is? Uh, I'm thinking. So I did earlier. I thought uh, Saugus would be playing a little bit better, but they're just again three years in a row. They've just been decimated by injuries. So I think Canyon wins. Do you think Kyle? Game. Real quick, that's a fluke thing, or could that be a training or workout type thing? Or honestly, I think it's a. I think it's just a fluke thing yeah. because it, it it isn't like they're you know they're dogging it and they get you know. Like a hamstring injury or anything like that. They're broken arms and stuff oh, like so that. It's so it's yeah, it's just yeah, bad luck really. And bad it has luck. been that way. It's weird though. It's had maybe there's something in at the water in Saugus. I don't know. Ooh, Did, breaking news. <laughs> we got our news team on it. Perry, Kyle, I've, been meaning to, I've been meaning to ask you this. Two weeks ago, when Canyon played Hart, yes, and they went for the win instead of the tie. My question: Do you happen to know if there was overtime there was available? Overtime. There was yeah. overtime right. available. So I tell me I disagree with that call. I, I would have gone dis- for the tie I to was, win. It, I, I was like physically upset for like two weeks, and I was like, I don't even like. I graduated in two thousand four, ten years ago. I'm like, I don't even care. Like I'm just, <laughs> I'm a Santa Clarita football fan, but like I was like, so you would because I know I know the coaches. The I love the coaching staff sure. at Canyon High School. I always have, you know. Well, maybe not when I was running gassers or anything in two thousand four, but. Um, it, it, I really wish they their defense was playing so well. I wish they would have gone to overtime. Yeah. Because their defense was playing so well, the kicker for Hart had missed three previous kicks already, mm. so he was already in his head. So if they would have had to gone for a long field right. goal, we should have the coach back on. Yeah, we should. All Rich, right. yeah. I love get, Rich. I love Rich. We got to get to the NFL. He's, he's Let's do our standings. Show. Yeah. This was week seven. We just completed, right? Okay. I'm now, picking. I'm picking the Denver Broncos. John Rogers I, I got out. <laughs> well, he didn't get out of last place, but he got tied for last with a great week. John, you went four and one last week. Your Redskins. Yeah, that's it. Mister Football. <laughs> so I'm picking this week. <laughs> went three and two. He fell to the cellar. He's not here this week. He's not here. I heard and he's he's picking all we, of them to tie. We that's what I've heard. Yeah. That's he just texted me. Kyle, so. you remain in second place because you went three and two. Yeah, it's a rough week. I picked the uh, Raiders, and I went uh, five and zero. Oh. Okay. Whoa! I went five and zero, oh, baby. I'm okay, twenty four and eleven. I'm in for, first. For what place. it's worth, Doug is the only one who pays attention to these picks. And he <laughs> writes them down, and he amazingly he goes five oh, and zero. Oh, that is weird. Just <laughs> another thing. Where's Perry Smith? We need just Perry saying. Weird. Are you just saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. Not saying I, he's just I'm, saying. I'm, All right, come on. Saying. We're short on Here's time. Picks. We got to get to the picks. Quick, 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 quick. We got Seattle at Carolina. Mister Football picks Seattle. Kyle. Uh, wait, who was it again? Seattle at Carolina. Seattle. I think they bounce back. 
Yeah, yeah. Seattle. John? Seattle. How come the guy in first place gets to go I'm last? going Carolina. Whoa, Carolina. There we go. Indy at Pittsburgh. Uh, Mr. Football went Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Uh, no, going. gosh. I'm Doug's going, going, ooh. <sighs> Indy. I think Indianapolis might Indianapolis. be a, a, Kyle, you're going a trouble team. They might They might dethrone the yeah, I don't like it when they're not the in Indy. their own dome. Indy. Nah, Indy. no way. I ain't going to Indy. 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 Okay. Not John's the Baltimore Colts, the Indianapolis that's right. Team. All right, here's a good one. This is one very close to my heart. For those of you who don't know, I had season tickets for the Arizona Cardinals for the first eight years they were in Phoenix. It's Philadelphia at Arizona. Mr. Football went Philadelphia. I don't understand that. Doug's going Arizona. John or Kyle, I'm sorry. I'm going Arizona. All right. I picked Philly like they've done me well this season. Now they're both 5-1. and one. They're Yeah, both I, five I think and I'm going to go it's, Arizona. It's at Arizona? Yes, it is. Arizona. Okay, John. Our Sunday night football is a pretty good matchup. Green Bay at New Orleans. Mr. Football went New Orleans. Oh, New Orleans is favored by one point in this game, which I have no idea how that's it's possible. At home. I, it's at home. I, yeah, but it's, it's, it's in a three dome. Point, three point spread. For Aaron Rodgers and Jordy Nelson can run faster than yeah, everybody else. So I'm take going it, you're Green Bay. Bay. I'm making okay. Green yeah, Bay. I'm going Green Bay. And they cover. Normally a home team is three point. points. Yeah. I'm going New Orleans. So I'm going New Orleans. John? Green Bay. Okay. Two and two. And then Monday night football. This one's a thriller. Washington at Dallas. At Dallas. At oh Dallas. Oh, my goodness. Oh, All right, I'm going uh, Mr. Football went Dallas. Doug's going Dallas. I Kyle? really, really dislike the Cowboys. But? And I'm uh, and John, his hair's looking good today, so I, you know what I'm doing? I'm going Washington. Whoa. I'm going Washington. <laughs> Come on, man. Are you trying to shame me into this? Because <laughs> yeah. I was going to go Dallas. You better pick <laughs> Washington. Dallas. Dude, you picked I'm Washington. Picking Washington you went I pick Washington every week. 16 and 0. I got to gain some ground, too. I am too. a fan. I, All right, I think, everybody. I think there might be I some magic. I am a fan. Okay. Colt McCoy. I think we, Joe Gibbs comes Colt back. Colt McCoy. We got 15 seconds. Any parting shots, Kyle? Uh, no, I don't think so. What Joe games, Gibbs is coming back. <laughs> we got Canyon Socks tonight. Listen. And uh, you can sign up for text alerts. KHS Football tonight. And then it's 30 shown 30. again at 11 o'clock. On. 11 p.m. on SCV TV. Right. Yeah. Simulcast. Oh, yeah. You get, so are you the color cool. person? Uh, no, I'm the board op. Board op. Uh, the sound engineer. Sound sounds better. engineer. Yeah, sounds, sounds better. better. Yeah. Are you at the game or are you here in the studio? No, I'm here in the studio. So if you want to come, you can call me, 298-547. We can chat. Please call him because he's bored. It's like a date <laughs> Are you going to be doing Twitter or anything? <laughs> yeah, I do Twitter, Facebook. I do all the right. text alerts. I do it all. Listen to the Gazette Radio with Doug and John on AM1220 KHS Santa Cruz hometown station. We are out. We will talk to you next week. Except for me, I'll be in Key West. KHS Bye. Gaining Country Santa Clarita. <laughs>